Blizzard just released a post explaining the frequently asked questions about the Overwatch 2 beta, but I'll summarize it for you in this video in case you missed it. The Overwatch 2 beta begins on Tuesday, April 26th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Here are the conversions for other popular time zones. There are two ways to get in. One, you can still visit the Play Overwatch website up until April 26th and opt in just for a chance to get access to Overwatch 2, who will notify you by email the day of with instructions. The other way to guarantee Overwatch 2 access is to wait one more day after, Wednesday, April 27th, because from 10 a.m. Pacific to 6 p.m. Pacific time, you have an eight hour window to watch four hours of an eligible Twitch streamer for the Overwatch 2 Twitch drops. You will be eligible for the Overwatch 2 drops as long as you watch four hours across any of the following streamers. You can hop between streams as long as their name is on this list to accrue the four hour watch time needed. To make things easy for you though, if you're watching this video, I am on this list so you can go to my Twitch page, link down in the description below, and make sure you tune in early because again, you only have an eight hour window to get four hours of watch time. Meaning if you get on late at like 2.30 p.m. Pacific, you'll only have three and a half hours of watch time at most, making you ineligible for this beta wave. I'm totally plugging myself, but just leave my twitch.tv slash car tab open if you have to go to work or school or something. And I will be online on that day and your tab will autoplay my stream to get you your four hour watch time. Before that though, you need to make sure you have a username on Twitch first, and you can see your drops by clicking your profile icon on the top right and going to the drops area. Once you watch four hours on Wednesday, you will see Overwatch 2 beta here, and it'll ask you to connect your Battle.net account to claim it. Obviously, I have Lost Ark here that I got from a Twitch campaign that I actually never claimed, but pretend that's Overwatch 2, it's the same concept. The first beta wave will go on from April 26th to May 17th, about three weeks only for now, and will be on PC only, so sorry console players. You will need to have a PC version of Overwatch 1 installed to play in the Overwatch 2 beta, but lucky for you, if you don't own Overwatch on PC, they will be offering it as a free trial for three weeks during the beta period. That means you console players who probably or hopefully have a laptop or something can still download the free Overwatch 1 and play Overwatch 2 if you got the Twitch drops. And yes, you can connect your controller to the computer if you live and die by the sticks. Gross. Now for some frequently asked questions. How do you play if you get access? If you were lucky enough to be invited by opting in or by Twitch drops, log in using the Battle.net account you synced with your Twitch drops, click Overwatch, Navigate to the game version drop down menu on the bottom left here, and here you'll see something called Overwatch 2 Technical Beta if you have it. Will any progress I make during the beta carry over to the live game? No, none of your progress will carry over to the live game because it's still a work in progress and is a means of testing the Overwatch 2 build. The game will keep evolving and slowly be refined before the official launch. Why is the Overwatch beta only three weeks? Blizzard is doing multiple beta waves, and these three weeks, along with the limited drops campaign on Twitch, was very deliberate because they're closely monitoring the beta server environment, hence the four hour watch time requirement, which is pretty high. They actually don't want everybody in at once because technically it's still a beta and it's not a finished product yet. What happens if you miss this beta? Well, go back and enjoy 6v6 Overwatch 1. But in all seriousness, I know there will be some serious FOMO, so subscribe here, follow my socials, and I'll do my best to get you the news for the next beta because there will be multiple beta waves throughout the year. We don't have news on when the next one will be, but be on the lookout. And that's all. I hope I summarized this well. You can read the full blog post in the description, and make sure to follow my stream while you're at it for the drops. See you there.